Hey, what's up everyone? It's Flipper Koala here and welcome to another division video. Here are some of the highlights and some of the bigger changes that are coming with Tidal Update 3. First and foremost, the maximum gear score that will drop from now on will remain 500. That means um, with the Tidal Update 3 and when the rates come, the agents will only see the gear score 500, not more than that. There will be the guaranteed GS500 gear score item drops. In contaminated loots in the dark zone, heroic difficulty mission bosses, stronghold bosses, bounty bosses and control points level 4. So that means that if you're average score is uh, hitting the 500s you will get a guaranteed 500 gs drop the daily missions will also guarantee gs 500 items once the player has reached gs 500 so they have increased the base cap of receiver components and protective fabric crafting materials by 200 which means that their cap now starts at 350 and ends at 600 with all material capacity perks um Inaya has been hired as a crafting vendor the goal is also to make blueprints more accessible so crafting exotic weapons will now always upgrade to maximum gear score of the world tier they are crafted in when the upgraded blueprint is used. Some of the changes they did to hardwired gear set. Now it will grant skill damage instead of shock duration, ongoing directive, now grants special ammunition into any weapon including the weapon currently equipped which means it now grants special ammunition on any kill not just weapon kills. Uh, I personally like this change it is more straightforward and less confusing. True Patriot, they have decreased debuff cycle from 4 seconds to 2 seconds. Um, they have also increased damage dealt to nearby targets by 50% when full flag is active. Quality of life loot changes, they have increased ammunition drop chances from enemy NPCs where players would run out of ammunition during prolonged fights on high difficulty activities. I remember playing these missions and I'm always looking for ammo because the bosses are tankier and we cannot find any gear sets currently which can give you higher ammunition capacity so this is a good change. Dark zone, contaminated loot will always drop the higher GS score like the 500 if the player has reached that GS level. Exotics are having their damage increase across the board which means that there are now more reasons to get Chatterbox and Nemesis for instance. These guns were already pretty good so there is a buff to all the exotics. Um, post mission summary screen so this is a new change and I really like it which means that after completion of every mission players will have now an option to look at the mission summary and evaluate how they perform based on the variety of statistics. Recalibration has been changed to allow for more stats to be moved as they are from one item to another. As such, the recalibration will no longer increase the gear score of the item. All existing recalibrated items will have their recalibrated additional gear score converted to the new format. Um, they've done some changes to enemy NPC. So what they have done here is they have decreased the damage of a veteran, elite and named NPC. Um, the accuracy of grenade thrower has been reduced, so no more annoying nade spamming. Um, enemy NPCs will no longer be able to stagger players with a melee attack if the player has a ballistic shield equipped. So that's that's a good change. Some changes they have done to the friendly NPCs. Civilians now wear protective gear. Well, that's good. Um, upgrading a settlement also increases the civilian damage. Well, that is good as well. Civilian hostages are now more protective of their lives means they will use more common sense. Some changes to the control point. The alert level impact will now be more clearly communicated, hard or heroic. Civilian officers can revive you during takeovers. I personally love this change and I think that's a, one of the biggest change I find regarding control point. Now it is more important to keep civilian officers alive since he will run for your rescue in case you are downed. Civilian takeover can now be used as a respawn point. Another beautiful change. This means you don't necessarily have to run from near a safe house or settlement to reach the control point or any other activity. You can just respawn if the control point has been taken over also. Now you can fast travel to friendly takeover and convoys. Beautiful. Uh, they did some PvP balancing among other things. Players are now normalized to GS500. That's good. Assault rifle now have 1.25% PvP damage scaler applied. PvP damage modifier has been decreased which means there will be longer time to kill which also means less cover based fights in certain scenarios. I would think so. Skill modifier has been increased which means skill will do more damage. Um, some of the changes they've done in the dark zone, contaminated loot, I've mentioned a few things before already. Bosses now guarantee a contaminated loot drop. Higher challenge landmarks can drop multiple contaminated items. Basic veteran and elite NPCs have their drop rate lowered but now have a very high chance to drop contaminated loot. Dark zone bag size has been increased to 10 but that can only be unlocked through dark zone perks which are available in the White House. 
So if you die and the lost DZ XP is being reduced by 35%. So these were some of the major changes which I picked from the game. And uh, I think they're pretty good. Well, we'll see how the title update 3 rolls out and what the player's feedback is. That's it from me for this video. I thought, well, why not pick the most important things and then just discuss about them. So if you like this video, a like and a comment will be super appreciated. If you have any questions or if you want me to cover these kind of news, just let me know in the comment section. Once again, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.